is on computer. Okay, so let's start. So this is our chapter 7, the nervous system. So this is not new to you since you have discussed this one during your grade 10 or during your senior high school. But we have to reiterate some of those, uh, some of the parts, important parts of our nervous system. So remember that our nervous system has five major functions in the body. So we have controlling muscles and glands. So our muscular system is connected with our nervous system because the nervous system controls the movement of our muscles and glands. So remember the neurotransmitter acetylcholine that, con uh, that uh, controls our muscle movement or muscle contraction. Now we have also receiving sensory input from our sense organ, from the different uh, perceptions or messages inside and outside our body and also it integrates information so there is a processing unit inside ours uh, inside our body so that is our nervous system and also it maintains the homeostasis so remember homeostasis, homeostasis is what the state of balance so and also it established and maintaining our mental activity uh, mental activities such as emotion uh, memory retrieval, and so on and so forth. So, ang iyahang uh, mnemonic, dili siya ano ha, crime at criminal ha. So, this is just a mnemonic. I just made this para mas madali nyo may memorize. So, crime. Para mas madali nyo siya ma-understood or ma-memorize ang functions ng ating nervous system. So, next, we have the important parts of our or the functional unit of our nervous system. So we have the nervous system is made up mainly of two types of cells. So we have the nerve cell, or so called as the neurons, and the supporting cells or glial cells or neuroglia. So ano pinagkaiba or what the difference between these two? So nerve cells, these are actually the basic structural and functional unit of our nervous system. And from the word itself, supporting cells or glial cells, they are not transmitting impulses to and from our body, but their functions is mainly to support our nerve tissue. So remember that one, nerve cell or neurons is our basic structural, while supporting cells or glial cells are for supporting our nerve tissue. So let's start with the nerve cell or the neurons. So basic unit of the nervous system. So it generates in electrical impulses transmitted from one part of the body to another. So remember, we have different types of chemical signals in our body and that is controlled by our uh, neurotransmitters. Exact, uh, these are just a few of our neurotransmitter. So when we say neurotransmitter, these are chemical messages that is released by our neurons. So we have example of this are acetylcholine. Function of this is to activate muscle movement. Dopamine, dopamine or dopamine. So dopamine is uh, also controls our movement. That is why no kanang may mga Parkinson's disease. So scientists are theorizing na bumababa ang number or amount ng dopamine sa katawan. That is why nagkakaroon ng Parkinson's disease. Then epinephrine. So it happens or it functions during our stress response, during emergency situations, and also serotonin. So it functions to our mood. So yung mga mood natin is controlled by our serotonin, sleep, atten uh, attention, and also our learning that is controlled by serotonin. So if wala mo sa mood, oh, mababa siguro ang level ng inyong serotonin. That is why you have to eat more banana because banana has more sa, has the uh, of amount of serotonin. And also endorphin. Endorphin functions also for our mood and also it reduces pain. Ang ato mga chocolate guys, no? chocolate good, uh, chocolate ng mga food, they contain also endorphins na neurotransmitter or na mga murag substance which can also lighten our mood. It cannot really change our mood but it, it can lighten our mood. So ito saging, pwede ito sa chocolate to endorphins. And another neurotransmitter, we have the nitric oxide. Very important, ang nitric oxide for our memory storage. 
So this is some of our, this is our few of our neurotransmitter. So when we say neurotransmitters, these are chemical signal that is released through our neurons. So types of neurons. So we have three. We have the sensory, we have the interneuron, and the motor neuron. So when we say sensory, afferent, they bring signal to the CNS. So what is the CNS? To our brain and spinal cord. So from the different parts of the body, this will send signal to our brain and spinal cord, which comprises our central nervous system. Then the interneurons, these are the processing unit. So they relay sensory signals to the brain, then returns, uh, returns the message back to the motor neurons. And motor neurons, they pass message from the brain to the rest of the body. So from the brain or from the central nervous system to the different parts of the body. So it is also called as the efferent or the efferent pathway. So this movement or coordinated pathway is known as the reflex arc. So what is this reflex arc? Ito yan siya. So what happens to you when you step on a nail? So the stimulus or the nail is received by your sensory neurons. So in the foot, then the info travels to the spine where the interneuron is triggered. So the interneuron is found on your spinal cord. And the interneuron transmits signal to your brain through the spinal cord and carries message back to stimulate the motor neuron to move the foot. So it happens in a very quick uh, movement. So in a span of second, di ba hindi kinahulat mo sa ninyo na magdugo yung TL, no? Or makatapak mo o kanang murag tamtaks. So direct na siya. That's, uh, that's how fast reflex arc is. Ano sila kapaspas ang ato ang nerve mag-function? Remember, nerve tissue is the most abundant tissue in the body. So the hand kaya ng mga nerve endings sa katawan. And that is being received or being sensed by the different neurons in the body. Then next, we have... So the components of our reflex arc receptor reacts to our stimulus. So ano ba ng stimulus? For example, nag-ano ka rice cooker, gitouch ni mo. So that's our receptor, katong ini sa rice cooker. Then the parent pathway conducts impulses to your CNS. So it will be detected by your sensory organs. Then by the sensory neurons. Then these sensory neurons will send signal to the interneurons. So the interneurons will, will now send the signal to the to the efferent pathway, then the effector will now uh, the effector will now bring the or will now bring the signal. Then para kung ano tong action na bagay doon sa situation. But there are situations na ang iban ng mga messages dili na maabot sa brain. So, ang tawag doon are pi uh, spinal reflexes. So, these are initiated and completed at the spinal cord level. So, this, uh, not all messages will be processed by the brain. So, there are messages that is completed by the spinal cord and that is called by, and that is called as spinal reflexes. So, remember, uh, our spinal cord is also made up of different nerves. So, we will discuss its functions later. So these are the different structure of our neurons, the basic parts, the cell body. So this is our cell body or soma. It contains our nucleus. This one, this is our cell body. And it is also contains our ribosome. Ribosome are very important for protein synthesis in the making of our protein. And it also contains mitochondria and other organelles. So uh, our neurons is also a cell. It is a, may mga parts pa rin siya, may ribosomes and other organelles. And also, uh, this also source of information for gene expression. Then dendrites, these are the dendrites. So the dendrites are parts that transmit impulses towards the cell body. So padulong sa cell body are the dendrites. Then we have our axon, axon away. They look like axon away, away from the cell body. And axon terminal, so each branch of the axon ends in an axon. Ito yung ends ng ating axon. So these are, nawala ako, saan na yun? 
Okay. Just look at the picture that I have provided. So these are the dendrites. This is the axon. Uh, this is the axon. This is the axon terminal. This is the cell body. And this is the nucleus of our neurons. Then the protective layer of the, each neuron is called as the myelin sheath. So it is formed by the following cell. So it is formed by our Schwann cells. And in our central nervous system, it is formed by oligodendrocytes. So what are these myelin, uh, myelin sheets? Myelin sheet are protective layers of our neurons. So in our, that is made up, in our PNS, that is made up of Schwann cells, and in central nervous system, that is made up of specialized cells known as oligodendrocytes. And what are these Schwann cells? Schwann cells are glia-like cells. So during embryonic development, these cells attach to growing axons and wrap around them. Concentric layers of plasma membrane. So Schwann cells comprises or forms the myelin sheets of each neurons. So Schwann cells are very important to form the myelin. The myelin sheath is important for the protection of our neurons. Then the nucleus is located in the outermost layer. Each segment is separated from the next by small unmelted segment called nodes of Ranvier. So nodes of Ranvier are small gap between this uh, myelin sheath that is very important for the, for the easy transmission of messages. Ito yan siya. Meron akong summary niyan. So these are the function of our myelin sheath. Helps insulate our axons. And also, it allows impulses to travel with great speed. Ito. So these are the Schwann cells. And it forms our myelin sheath. So these are the nodes of Ranvier. So nodes of Ranvier are very important for the easy travel of the messages along the neurons or the nerve cell. So these are the summary. Dendrites carry impulses towards the cell body. Then the axon carry messages away. Schwann cells, cells will produce myelin or fat layer in the peripheral nervous system. Myelin sheet protects or insulates the neurons. Nodes of Ranvier, Ranvier, these are gaps for the easy transmission of the impulses. So this is the anatomy of our myelin sheath. So this is the node of Ranvier, yung mga spaces. This is the myelin sheet. This myelin sheet is made up of the Schwann cells. Then the next part is the oligodendrocytes. Uh, this wraps the nerves in the central nervous system. So yung Schwann cells doon sa peripheral nervous system. So ito yung example ng ating oligodendrocytes. Then the next part, we have the glial cell. From what we have said, glial cells are also called a supporting cell. They do not transmit information or messages, but they are just supporting or connecting cells. So they constitute 90% of all cells in the central nervous system. There are three types of glial cells in the body. We have the astrocytes. Function of this is to regulate composition of extracellular fluid. Extracellular fluid protects or acts as a shock absorber of our brain and our spinal cord. Remember this one, astrocytes helps in the regulation of composition of extracellular fluid. ECF, extracellular fluid, very important yan siya. That's the fluid that is located outside our uh, our cells, extracellular fluid. And astrocytes are very important, uh, which are close to cerebral blood capillaries. They form barrier around capillaries, blood brain barrier. That is why not all substances can enter our brain. That is why, no, uh, kapang may sakit talaga sa skull or sa skull sa brain, uh, very difficult ang pag trip because substances have difficulty entering the uh, have difficulty entering the brain because of this uh, structure the astrocytes because they form what blood brain barrier 
So they prevent toxin and uh, toxin and other substances from entering the brain. So that's the importance of our astrocytes. And also, important ang astrocytes for uh, sustain neurons metabolically to provide glucose and remove ammonia. So take note of the functions of our astrocyte. Then the next part, or the next type of supporting cell is we have the microglia. So microglia, the pictures is shown on the left or on the right side. So these are known as scavenger cell. So when we say scavenger cell, they are phagocytic. When we say phagocytic, they eat or they ingest uh, other cells, especially those worn out cells in the body. Worn out cells. So they also they become macrophages and clean cellular debris. So those uh, cellular debris are uh, the debris, those parts, the worn out parts of the cell. So they ingest that one. So they form macrophages or the phagocytic cell. Then the last type of our supporting cell is oligodendrocytes or the oligoden oligodendroglia. As what we have said, it is a myelin-forming cells in our central nervous system. Then the synapse, those are synapse or synapse. These are small gaps between axon of one neuron and the dendrites of another. So ito yung end. Kapag ito yung dendrites, ito yung axon. So the space between those structures are called synapses. What's, what is the function of our synapse? So the synapse ensures one-way transmission of messages from one neuron to another. And this is the main division of our nervous system. The nervous system is made up of two divisions. We have the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Remember, central nervous system is only made up of two parts. We have the brain and the spinal cord. We will discuss each part later. In the peripheral nervous system is made up of two divisions. We have the motor and the sensory neurons. We have discussed this one a while ago. Motor neurons, they carry messages from the body to the CNS. I, from the CNS to the different parts of the body. Then sensory neurons of the sense organs to the CNS. Two types of motor neurons. So we have the somatic nervous system and also the autonomic nervous system. Uh, when we say somatic, they control voluntary movements in the body. And autonomic nervous system, they control involuntary. So those movements that we cannot control is controlled by our autonomic nervous system. Autonomic nervous system is divided into two divisions. We have the sympathetic and parasympathetic. So we will discuss one by one what are these. So the central nervous system, okay, mura katulugun na si Valeriano, nang we have na siya. As what we have said, central nervous system is made up of brain and the spinal cord. Our brain is made up of this. Kindly uh, unmute you, uh, unmute yourself. So brain is made up of this part. Mainly it's made up of the brain stem, the cerebellum, and the cerebrum. Familiar sa inyo ito. And also we have another part. We have the diencephalon. We will discuss one by one. Unsan asiya? Then the spinal cord. So remember, our brain is protected by this layer or membrane called as meninge or meninges. So these are made up of three parts or three layers. We have the dura matter, the arachnoid matter, and the pia matter. So meninges, body membranes that cover the brain and spinal cord for protection and nourishing purposes. Consists of three layers. So dura matter, the outermost, arachnoid, middle, and the pia matter, the innermost layer. Pia matter is very important because uh, it forms capillary networks called plexus which produce CSF. So the pia matter, yung capillary networks yung doon, called plexuses, produces CSF. So what is this CSF? CSF is, uh, can you take note of this? Cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, uh, CSF, cerebrospinal fluid, is very, it plays a major role in our 
or in the protection of our brain and spinal cord. Uh, CSF uh, uh, functions as a shock absorber. And also, it cautions our brain against the skull. So that's the function of our CSF. Aside from nourishing the neurons in our brain and spinal cord, it also serves as the protection. So CSF is formed, is formed by the capillary networks called plexuses in our pia matter. Pia matter is the innermost layer of our meninges. So ito yun siya, ito. These are the layers of our meninges. So ito yung hair natin, or ito yung skin natin. So this is our periosteum, yung sa muscle. This is our bone. So this is our meninges. It is made up of three layers. We have the arachnoid, the pia, and the dura mater. So akala natin no skull lang, then brain. But there are still layers that protects our brain against the friction sa skull. Then the brain is the largest organ in the nervous system. It is composed of what? Composed of 100 billion neurons. Take note, 100 billion neurons ang meron ng isang tao. But, there is, uh, kahit may DNA yung neurons natin, uh, these neurons in the brain do not undergo DNA replication or mitosis in the brain. As a result, kapag mamatay ang inyuhang, uh, ang inyuhang nerve cell or neuron sa, sa brain, it will not be regenerated. So, as a result of this, the number of neurons decreases as a person ages. So as we go through our age, as we go older, our nerve cells will die. And these uh, neurons in the brain will not regenerate, will not undergo mitosis. So it will, it, it will be permanently uh, dead. So very important na you should take care of also of your brain cells. So how? You really have to uh, have a good lifestyle and also have a good sleep. But now, na because of pandemic, because of our online class, gabi ilang paspas sa internet. And we have this one. Three main divisions or regions of our brain. So we have the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brain stem. So we will discuss these three parts. First, we have the cerebrum. So our brain is made up of spaces called ventricles. So the spaces inside our brain is called ventricles. So recurrent plexuses of pia matter produces cerebrospinal fluid. <clears throat> As what I have said, CSF is very important too for, for the protection of our brain and spinal cord. And also, it allows to circulate around the brain and into the spinal cord through the central canal. So it, uh, it flows and circulates our brain and spinal cord. So the cerebrum is the largest portion of the brain. It, about, it, uh, it comprises about two-thirds of our brain mass. So parts of our cerebrum. Cerebrum is made up of cerebral cortex and cerebral medulla. So cerebral cortex, outermost region of our cerebrum, it comprises 75% of all neurons in the nervous system. And also the central med uh, the cerebral medulla or the medulla or the inner regions, these are made up of white matter, made up of myelinated neurons. So ito sa cerebral and myelinated. And the structure that separates our cerebrum is what we call as the corpus callosum. So it separates the left and the right hemisphere. Uh, hemisphere? Hemisphere. So it creates longitudinal fissure at the center of the cerebrum. So the surface of our brain are made up of ridges called as convolutions. So that is called as convolutions or gyri. Then katong deeper portions of that, ang tawag doon are sulcus or fissure. Yung mga kunot-kunot, tawag doon convolutions or gyri. The deeper portion are called as sulcus or Kindly unmute your microphone. Thank you. 
Christine, can you unmute your mic? Can you mute your microphone? I'm not available at 8 a.m. Dili ko sure. Kaya na kami free orientation ba? Alas na ite. Kora ka kung liter lang yap kung kaya. Kindly turn off your microphone, everyone. Available kamo og mag matri. So let's. Uh, let's proceed. So these are different parts of our cerebral cortex. So this controls different functions in the body. So motor areas, it controls voluntary muscles. Motor speech area or broca's area controls what? Our mouth, tongue, and larynx for speech. Frontal eye field. It controls the muscles of our eye. Excuse me. Hello everyone. Kindly, kindly turn off your microphone. Thank you. Makikita ko ba ano ginagawa niya dito? Oh, oh. Bangga pa mong it. So you listen. Hand. Malapit na tayo matapos. Okay. So, malapit na tayo matapos. So, these are different regions of our cerebral cortex. So, remember, cerebral cortex comprises 75% of all neurons in the nervous system. So, motor areas control voluntary muscle. Broca's area or motor speech area controls our mouth, tongue, and larynx for speech. Frontal eye field controls our eye, uh, muscles of our eye and our eyelid. Auditory from the words auditory for our hearing. Visual area controls what? Visual recognition. So dito yan bada sa likod. Sensory areas, very important for the sen uh, sensation for temperature, touch, pressure, and pain. And association areas, so interconnection lang yung function ng ating association, uh, association areas. So interconnection so this is the corpus a corpus callosum this is our left hemisphere and the right hemisphere so remember our right portion of our body is controlled by our left hemisphere and the right portion is controlled by our right hemisphere then our brain is also or our cerebrum is also made up of four major lobes so we have the frontal lobe in this part. Controls what? Skeletal muscle movement and intellectual process. And also we have the parietal, the crown. Controls our sensation and speech. So this is our parietal area. So the cerebr uh, cerebrum, this, this part is called as the parietal lobe. The temporal lobe is very important for hearing and memory retrieval. Occipital lobe, the back portion, controls our vision. So frontal, a frontal, parietal, temporal, occipital. Take note of the functions of our major lobes in the body. Then we have the special regions in the brain. So Broca's area important for our speech. Wernicke's area comprehension of language and also for our meaningful speech. And also we have the limbic system. The limbic system is made up of a group of structures in the brain. We have the amygdala. We have the hippocampus, septum, and basal ganglia. So what are these? Limbic system is very important that help expression of emotions and emotional memory. So our emotions, learning, and memory depends on our limbic system. So we have the first structure, we have the amygdala. Amygdala recognizes emotional content and also uh, emotional content of our facial expression, and also it helps to lay down our emotional memories. Ito siyang amygdala. Ang hippocampus naman, very important ang hippocampus for the formation of new memories. Itong hippocampus. So if you have new memory, so hippocampus na siya. For example, no, gibrikan kasi imong uyab, pus na kay bago nga uyab, so you will create another memories with him or her. So that is controlled by our hippocampus. And also, no, hippocampus is very important because it is associated for learning and also the control of our emotions. Itong hippocampus. Septum, 
uh, septum. Uh, these are uh, controls maternal behavior. Uh, they just maybe lang yung na research ko ito, but they said that septum is maybe control controls our maternal behavior sa mga babae. Then we have also basal ganglia. Basal ganglia, uh, basal ganglia, ang function niya is to receive input from the cerebral cortex and send ang signal dito sa may motor neurons sa different parts of the body. So the messages to, from, the, uh, from the cerebral cortex will be received by this part, the basal ganglia. Then this basal ganglia will send signal to the or message to the cerebral cortex. So these are special regions in our brain. So take note of that, ha? the limbic system, emotions, learning, and memory. Then next, we have the cerebellum. The cerebellum is also known as the little brain. Uh, Maria Glory Jean Valeriano stopped playing ano, ha? A Rubik's Cube. Paminaw lang sa itong klase. So cerebellum, the main function of our cerebellum is for equilibrium and balance. So your posture, that is why you can walk without falling. Uh, that controls our, that is found on our, uh, on our inner ear. So we have this organ called as vestibular organ. Vestibular organ that is controlled by our cerebellum. And cerebellum is very important for our posture and balance. So that is why you can walk without falling. You can run without falling. And new data suggests, ito yung mga new, my new research, that suggests na it functions as a thesaurus for our speech. Yung mga vocabulary natin, uh, they, they suggest na ang cerebellum is the res, recept, uh, repository of those uh, vocabulary, ang cerebellum. And sometimes cerebellum is also called as the little brain. Then the brain stem, may, uh, brain stem are made up of different parts. We have the diencephalon, the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. So what's the function of, of this division? So malapit naman tapos, thalamus, it is a major release center. So it relays information to direct nerve impulses from various sources to the proper destination. So it relays information to the proper place or proper destination of that message. Kung asa siya padulong, gito lang gidapat siya. And that is controlled by our thalamus. Hypothalamus has many function in our brain. Important area for our regulation of heart rate and also for our blood pressure, body temperature, homeostatic activities such as hunger. So if gutom ka mo, that is controlled by our hypothalamus. If you are thirsty, then also elevation of sex drive that is controlled by our hypothalamus and also addiction, addiction to something. So bahala lang kayo ano yung mga klase addiction. So that is controlled by our hypothalamus. Controls on musatic activities such as hunger, thirst, sex drive, and even addictions. Then other parts of our diencephalon, we have the optic tracts and optic chiasma. Infundibulum, uh, it holds attachment to our pituitary gland. We will discuss pituitary gland when we reach, uh, when we reach the endocrine system. Pinyag gland also, we will discuss pinyag gland when we reach endocrine system. Sa iyahang function. And other divisions, we have the midbrain. So the functions of our midbrain is major cerebral reflex center. Also helps direct CSF from third ventricle to the fourth ventricle. So it helps circulate our CSF. So we say CSF, cerebrospinal fluid. And the points regulate dur duration of our depth of breathing. So it has two respiratory center. The medulla or the uh, medulla oblongata or the medulla has many centers such as cardiac center controls heart rate, vasomotor controls blood flow and blood pressure. And also, it, con uh, it controls respiratory center, which controls our respiratory rhythm. So these are the major parts of our 
uh, brain stem. The picture of those parts are found on the right side of, I have given you the copy of this. Then we have the cerebral spinal fluid. So we have said it's made by the choroid plexuses or cluster of capillaries in our pia mater. So mainly designed to protect our CNS by serving as a caution. So when too much CSF accumulates in the skull, it can result to hydrocephalus. So where the excess volume creates dangerously high pressure exerting. So disorders will lead to the accumulation of too much CSF in the body that will lead to hydrocephalus. So that is made up of cerebrospinal fluid. Then we have the spinal cord, the last part of our central nervous system. So it is made up of 31 segments. Divided 31 segment named after the vertebral regions. Each segment gives rise to a pair of spinal nerves. So it is made up of 31 segments of spinal nerves as a part of the peripheral nervous system. So spinal cord are long nerve cord that begins at the foramen magnum at the ends of the first or second lumbar vertebra. So ito yan siya. Dito yan siya area kung saan magsat ang ating cereb, uh, spinal cord. From this part to this part. And our most spinal nerves from network called plexus. So ito na yung functions niya. So C1 to C4, cervical 1 to cervical 4, it functions in our head, face, and neck. C5 to, two, uh, to T1, T is thoracic. From brachial plexus serves the shoulder, the arm, and the hands. Take note of that. T2 to, to, two eleven, uh, to T11, thoracic 2, thoracic 11, do not form any plexus. So they do not form any networks. T12 to S5, so they serves the lower body and the lower limbs. And also the cusigial nerves do not form any plexuses. So S means sacral, sacral. And the cusigial nerves, only one, they do not form any plexuses. So these are different uh, uh, functions of our uh, spinal nerves. Let us proceed to the last part, which is the peripheral nervous system. So malapit na ito. Konting tiis na lamang po. So we have peripheral nervous system, as what we have said, it transmits signal to and from the CNS, so from the venospinal cord and vice versa. It is made up of 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves. So spinal nerves kanina, ako na siyang discuss So the cranial nerves, there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves that attach directly to the brain. So all of these have specific function. Each has its own function. Ito yan sila, ang dami, 12. So these are different uh, cranial nerves in the body in their functions. Olfactory nerves functions in our smell. Optic for our vision. Oculomotor functions for our eye movements. And that is controlled by our motor neurons. So makita niyo dito, these are the type of neurons that functioning in this type of uh, cranial nerves. So trochlear, uh, smallest cranial nerve, take note of this, controls our voluntary movement. So, so if magpapansin mo sa inyong crash, so that is voluntary eye movement, murang mag-spark yung mga mata, that is controlled by trochlear. I have given you the copy of this, tama? Trigeminal, largest cranial nerves, functions or sensations in our head and face and also in our mandible our jawbone that is controlled by our trigemina trigemina has three main branches of palmic we have the maxillary and the mandibular so each has its own function abducens also controls our eye movements facial from the word itself facial expression if Controls our, also our taste is controlled by our facial cranial nerves. Vestibulo cochlear, hearing and balance. Glossopharyngeal controls our swallowing. And also oxygen tension of the blood. Vagus nerve, its function is for speech and also somatic motor function. When we say somatic, 
these are voluntary movement. Accessory or spinal accessory, ang function niya is for the rotation of our head and also for our raising of shoulders. So that's a function of our accessory or spinal nerves. Hypoglossal for the movements of our tongue. O, para mas madali niyo ma-memorize na siya, these are the mnemonics of our uh, 12 cranial nerves. On old Olympus towering top, a fin, and German view, some hops. Ito na yung ano, O-O-T-T-A-F-A-G-V-S-H. Ito na yung mnemonic. So these are different types of cranial nerves. That is arrange ha. Pag sa isa, i-arrange ko to sa inyo ha. So take note of this. And these are yung main function ni Monique niya if sensory ba siya, motor, or it functions both motor and sensory. So may ni Monique na ako nilagay para mas madali ninyo siya ma-memorize. Okay? Pero you can make another ni Monique's. But most of the books, ito yung ginagamit nila na mnemonics. And also when I was in college, ito yung ginamit namin na mnemonics. That is why I memorized ko pa rin ito hanggang ngayon. Madali lang yan siya memorizing. Then we have the, uh, tapos na ito kanina, uh, spinal nerves. So remember, uh, we have 8 pairs of cervical nerves, 12 pairs of thoracic nerves, Five pairs for lumbar and also five pairs for sacral and one pair for coccygeal nerves. I'll give you the functions kanina. Kung saan ang kanya ginaserve na function. And on the picture, you can see uh, the different uh, functions also of these nerves. So for, for example, cervical nerves serves these uh, functions. It controls our head and neck, diaphragm, deltoids, biceps, so on and so forth. So our leg muscle is controlled by our lumbar nerves. Bowel and movement of our bladder is controlled by our sacral. And also sexual function is also controlled by our sacral nerves. We have also discussed this one, the types of neurons. Tapos na ito. And motor neurons, malapit na. Motor neurons are divided into two. We have the somatic and autonomic. So when we say somatic, they are... Uh, controls voluntary functions in the body. And autonomic, they control what? They control involuntary actions or voluntary functions in the body such as heart rate, breathing, and digestion. And also in the uh, smooth muscle of our internal organs. And we have two main divisions of our autonomic nervous system. We have the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. So, Parasympathetic and nervous system. How does this two fun uh, is functioning? So sympathetic nervous system functions during fight or flight response or flight situation during stress, while parasympathetic nervous system during rest or digest situation, the resting uh, resting phase. So sympathetic uh, sympathetic is for the stress response. And yung nag-balance niya to para maging normal is ang parasympathetic. So these are different functions or mechanisms. For example, no, ikukut o kiro ni si Ernesto nga karo kay nangligaw siya. So for example, si, nangligaw siya tapos sa tunga gabi, kanang nangligaw siya tunga gabi and then gilog, gigug, sobraan niya ka in love sa iyahang ano, iyahang girlfriend. So gigugo siya kiro. So during the situation, sympathetic nervous system is uh, will uh, will be uh, will function. So what happened? So magdelete iyang pupil, so magdako iyang pupil. For what purpose? Di ba dulo man tungang gabi? Eh. So para makita niya ang ang iyang agianan. Di ba kung for example no kanang brown out, di ba? Kanang bro, bigla na nang brown out, di ba? Pag ano ninyo, pag brown out, totally dark, bataod-taod, mura na siya og nanay suga or naga, makita nyo na ang surrounding because your body is adjusting. So the same with this, sympathetic nervous system, magdalit niya mo ang pupil. And also, it inhibits salivation. So mag-stop ang production sa imuhang saliva. Alang nga nung magdagan si Karo, na tulot-tulot yung laway. Diba? So the production of saliva on your salivary gland will be limited. Alang nga magdagan-dagan ka, 
magtuloy-tuloy mong laway. So, your salivary glands will inhibit the production of your saliva. And also, will increase heartbeat. My purpose yan siya, that is to to, trans, uh, to, to circulate more oxygen in the body. Because you need more oxygen para makadagan yung kakahat. And also, it relaxes our airways. So, mag-dilate ang airways to permit more oxygen. And also, inhibit activity of stomach. And also, inhibit gallbladder. Alam nga, kahabagadagan. Inhibit the activity of your intestine. Secrete epinephrine and norepinephrine. Muna siyang natawag nga, adrenaline ha, adrenaline rush. Kaning epinephrine. Na, kanang reaction time, kanang kanang mura makarga nimo ang dili nimo makarga for example nasunog niyo ang balay karga nimo ang rem karga ni imong mama imong sofa so kana siya so during the situation adrenaline is very important para ma-release na siya and also it relaxes your bladder so it it relaxes your gland bladder so alangan ko magdagan ka magihihi ka so sympathetic nervous system uh Uh, is functioning during certain situations only. Mga stress response. Okay? Alam nga nung kayang naiiro, tapos lagso na ka sa iro, tapos wala dyan pong kamigihimo sa imuhang ano, nagtanaura ka. And katong nagabalan sa sympathetic nervous system is ang parasympathetic. Ibalik niya sa normal ang system. Okay? So, kini ang stress situation, ang take balance in, uh, is ang parasympathetic nervous system. For example, no, nakabot nagbalay si Ernesto Caro ayan uh, nakabot na sa ilahang balay no uh, ang iyang system kay mag back to normal na siya hinay-hinay magbalik iyang system so that is just an example Ernesto ha basi maano ka karon din na that's just an example okay so that's the different parts of our nervous system and let us proceed I have given you additional notes about the different diseases. We will discuss this one since I have given you the copy. Na ito tanong mga meaning. So we have the epilepsy. We have also Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is sa edad yan siya. Kanang epilepsy, mura masisyo ka na, mura makurog lang, no? Bigla. Kanang kung makakita mo na epilepsy nga tao pa ba, anyo lang na siya, di sila pa inumog tubig. Epileptic seizure will just last for minutes lang. Then, kana no kanang ang mga epileptic nga tao wala sila kabalo sa nahitabo sa ilaha. Mm, if namo ka kilala nga epileptic, uh, you stay away kanang bigay mo siya ng space kay magkurog-kurog na siya and uh, epileptic siya wala sila kabalo sa nahitabo so you have to explain to them what happened. Huntington uh, Huntington's disease, maybe na mga term no. Alzheimer's disease that will lead to dementia, forget uh, forgetting things. Alzheimer's disease uh, usually sa mga old age to na mga tao. Cerebral palsy, this is a um, genetic genetic disorder ito. So we also have Glaucoma sa mata, yung parang may puti sa mata, yung black portion. A glaucoma, for example, may diabetes ka, it can also cause you glaucoma that will lead to blindness. Multiple sclerosis, and another example of this is ALS. Then shingles, kabalo mong shingles or herpes zoster. Kanang kinsa na ang nag-ano diri, ang nag-chicken pox. Hmm. So, ang chicken pox, di ba ginaingon nila dati nga kaisa ka lamang chicken pox, tama? So, chicken pox is caused by virus. Uh, by virus. Once na magkaroon ka ng, ano, ng chicken pox, the virus will stay on your, uh, in your nervous system, especially on your, on your nerves. Kapag once this virus will be activated again, It will form shingles or herpes herpes zoster. Yung chicken pox like also chicken pero mas lim ano lang kanang di ba chicken pox na kalat kalat? Ang shingles is another chicken pox pero nakakonsentrate sa isa ka area. For example, dito sa dito sa muka, dito na siya magkonsentrate. Pero sa leeg, leeg lang. And it is more difficult to treat. Mas ano yung mga treatment niya? 
So I have one student yung nagkaroon ng shingles dati last year, last school year. And very, ano kayo, ano kayo, kayo mubo, ako kayo, ano kayo, immune system very weak. So it's very important we should. Dili ka mo kumpiyansa nga, wala na, naka chicken pox na muli, na mo ulit magkaroon ng chicken pox. So, if you will have chicken pox for second time around, that is called as shingles or herpes zoster. Then at the schizophrenia, schizophrenia ka na murag, they tend to create another world sa ilahang isip lang. Kaya kita mo itong movie ato ni Pia Words back og ni, og ni Gerald Anderson. So, schizophrenia. Murag, gakreasyon another world. Murag, reality para sa iya. Pero that is not true. So, these are the different diseases. And I have given you another copy of katong EEG, ano ibig sabihin nun, and also itong mga marijuana, mga types of mga persona on how to treat these diseases and the person studying the nervous system. So, this is the end of our topic. So, any question? Wala. Any question? We will end this. Ano, uh, uh, any question? Wala. Wala question. You can uh, you can open your mic. Wala question. Sir. Ah uh, yes, sino yon? Ay lang may kanto mayor sir. Ah uh, yes, kanto mayor. Sir, how about those who blink uh, more than uh, five or parang sobra pa sa ano sir, kina-expect natin in a day, parang siyang abnormality? Oo, uh, actually meron tayong natawag na Tourette Syndrome. Also sa nervous system pa rin yun siya. Another type of parang involuntary movements. Ang sa MMK, katong kay Gerald Anderson, Japan to siya, yung Tourette Syndrome. Iba po ng cerebral palsy, iba po ng Parkinson's because Parkinson's usually kan mga ano katong ang Parkinson's usually sa edad sa edad sa mga old people. But Tourette syndrome also ang yahang physical ano is na siya mga involuntary movements. Uh, Tourette syndrome also disorder in our nervous system and that is one symptom. I have ano one friend ng anak no, ga anak siya permi um. Murang manirisim, pero di na siya manirisim. Murang nagin na siya disorder sa nervous system. Yes po, sir. Thank you. Mm. Now, we, that sometimes you often neglect the simple symptoms. But ano na siya kung ano na siya ka ng delicate or uh, ng terminal na iyahang situation. Okay, thank you for the tanto mayor. So that is controlled by another uh, disorder. So Tourette syndrome. Next, any question? Wala na. Kung wala question, let's have a quiz. Are you ready? Alasing, are you ready for our quiz for today? Huh? Uh, let's have a quiz. Are you ready? Not no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Grabe. No, sir. Grabe. No, sir. Sir, get a process. Sir, get a process. Oh, my God. Pabalo na ko siya, sir. Wow. So, I hope you have a good day, everyone. Grabe, sir. Pala to? Oo. So, kindly, Pastor. 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 So kindly submit your output after the examination so that I can give your, your I can give your <laughs> the prank ka yun, no? So I can give your return grades also. So kindly take the quiz, ha? Open lang, panin, open lang din yan and start studying your uh, lesson. I will have, uh, I will, we will have uh, another topic tomorrow pero ako na siyang i-record. Pero kato siya, I will just focus on the hormones. Dali lang kayo to siya. Mga 20 okay, slides lang yun siya, okay, or 30 sir. slides, okay? Oh, yes! Mm -mm, Christine? Ang coverage exam, sir, kay ano? Muscular, skeletal, muscular, that's part one. Part one yun siya, muscular, skeletal, part one. Part two is endocrine and nervous. Hello, okay, pastor. Uh -uh. Endocrine, uh, endocrine mag-focus. Don't worry, ang sa endocrine system, our main focus sa endocrine is ang, ner ang ano na ang hormones. Di ba, gihatag naman ako ang summary sa hormones sa inyo, ha? Yes. 
<laughs> oh, dito mo mag-focus. Yes, sir. Okay, ako na lang siyang i-explain dito sa recorded video na ko tomorrow or Wednesday, okay? Oh, sir, thank you, sir. Focus on the hormones, functions of the hormones and kinsa ang nag-release ato ng mga hormones, okay? Thank you, sir. Oh, Kato na. Another quiz? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the end of our discussion. So, thank you. Bye, sir. Wala pa gani. Mag-play pa gani. Bye, Ben. Eh, basi mo pa-quiz naman ka, sir, ba? <laughs> Sunod na lang. So, I will request a Vincent for us to lead the prayer. Are you in? Hello, Vincent. <laughs> Okay, wala-wala siya. May request, ano na lang, pagunsan, tuloy the prayer. <laughs> okay, and then the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. We forgive those against us. And then the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, goodbye everyone. Thank you for attending Bye, this sir. conference. Can you take the Thank quiz, man? Katong wala Bye, karon, tell, can you te tell your classmates katong deadline sa Bye, project sir. ninyo will be next week, uh, after next week. Huh? Thank, Thank, you, sir. Sir. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 20 muscles, 20 bones lang to. Yes, anong exam? Anong date sa exam, sir? 9 to 12. Yes, okay. Monday, 9 to 11, 12. Oh, naga quiz na may mo sa ako. Uh-uh. 9 to 12? 9 to 15. Ah, 13, 14. Yeah, 14, 14, 14. Sorry. Yay! Uh-uh, 9 to 14. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Okay, open your camera. Thank you, sir. Nagawa ng uban. Sir! Oh, on sa man. You're taking sa man. Oh, sige. Open your camera. <laughs> oh, ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay na. Okay, goodbye. Tapos na? Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Goodbye. God bless sir. God bless. Uh-uh. Na-prank kayo, no? Yes. Okay, God bless everyone. I will end this meeting now. Goodbye, sir.